thank you everybody for coming. I'm, I'm wow, I'm delighted to see so many of you. Um, how many people have heard of Triad Orbit prior to this? See, that's that's what's amazing. How many people have actually used it? Exclusively. <laughs> and that, that's great too. So I'm really delighted for a lot, lot of you to see this for the first time. And um, we did started this eight years ago. And it took that long to develop something that no one has ever done before. And people were, thought we're crazy. Because mic stands are $39 to $89. And, but you're buying microphones that are $6,000. You're buying microphones that weigh three pounds. And you're buying $89 stands. So we found that there must be a niche here that recording studios and people who have uh, concerning tastes of what they do and home studios, they, they need something better. And I think it was you that said, I think you have the greenest mic stand I've ever seen. And I, I, I didn't understand. Well, because I'm not throwing away mic stands every year. These will last a lifetime. It's a lifetime product. We warranty it that way. I mean, it says three years, but look, we want you always to be happy. And we have repair parts for everything. And we're a small company that answers the phone. And it's just... <laughs> so I'm the director of product development, and um, this has been a labor of love for me. I cut my teeth um, on a recording truck for 12 years in the Bay Area, and I schlepped a lot of stands. And we always put out U87s, U89s, because it was live broadcast as well as a live recording, but it was a recording first. And so microphone techniques meant everything. And, and my employer, my mentor, would go out and we'd be moving things by a centimeter. And the first thing I learned in college, uh, University of Colorado, is don't touch the EQ, go to the mic. Move that mic. Well, in those days, what we had was X and Y, and the stand had X and Y. That doesn't allow for creativity and movement and free um, microphone techniques that are kind of a lost art today. So I'm really happy to have uh, Francesco here to talk about that in more depth. Um, if you didn't get a chance, walk around, you can see that you can do a lot of stuff with this product. Even the lights are held on triad stands because we're not a mic stand. We're a support system for media. That is a self-broadcast microphone, camera, laptop, uh, I.O. device, guitar mic on wheels that you can, man, if I had that when I was a songwriter, I'd just be, yeah, let's go play, I'm, I'm bored, put it away. We have desks and we're sitting down and we're wrapping cables and we lose the thought of writing a song. And with the speed of this product, I think you can make changes and you can make decisions and, and you can work in a very efficient, efficient way. And um, so we'll, we'll begin to show you that. So the first thing we started with was the weight. There's cast iron stands and there's tripods. The cast iron stands are heavy, strong, won't fall over, but you can't maneuver them. You can't get them anywhere. Um, we took the weight of, uh, you know it, uh, Atlas MS-25, basically, and put it here. And that's how small it is. Wow. So by taking the legs out, and first those in the back, you may have to stand up, but I can put my foot right here, and I can tilt this stand in four positions per leg. And it'll stay there because of this weight. The other thing it allows me to do is put it on uneven stick, uneven surfaces. I can put this on a stairway. I can also reduce this footprint to be that size and get it around a drum kit. I can get each stand at four different heights, and they'll nest together because of this arc right here. So it's a touch of a foot and it stands back into place. 
And if I need to move it, I just put my foot here and adjust it, and it's there. So that in, it, in itself was, was something that no one had ever done before. But now once you start using it, you get them tight together, and you can see that cymbal stands are a pain in the butt to get mic stands around. These allow it to just, you just adjust the height, and you're there. The next thing we know, we you look at, is there's no threads here. Because with Triad Orbit, it's not a mic stand, it's an everything stand, you'll get what we call IOH, in-out head. IO is in-out. We try to be simple with our nomenclature here. And you load your mics. Every microphone here is preloaded with one of these. And you walk up, and you push it in, and it's in. Now, anyone know the Atlas LO2s? Shaky, unsecure. I'm going to miss by halfway. I missed. That will not come out until I release the sleeve. But tomorrow, you got to shoot a video. It's a lighting stand. There's eight different heads. So it could be any stand you need. And the reason I'm showing that, we're showing video, is very few of us are only doing audio anymore. We have to learn video. We have to learn lighting techniques. We have to learn to uh, set up cameras. And like a studio like this, he doesn't need to go buy C-stands and camera stands and all these stands because every triad orbit stand in here could be anything he needs it to be at any time. So for you that are trying to promote yourself in the world, as an engineer, or as a songwriter, or as a producer, this is, this is super helpful to be able to just have a stand do anything you want it to do. Obviously, booms have to attach that way. So I just take a boom, and I align it up, and it will just drop right in. But the booms give you 360 by 180 in every position, all released from one knob point. Even I'm on this side, and I don't want to reach around to get the knob. Great, I'll just put it on this side. It's that simple. We have inline clutches. There's no knobs to break off. They, they don't get in the way as you're trying to reach in and the knob grabs on a cable. The inline clutches work really smoothly, really strong. And these are now, there was some learning curve, these will hold up to five pounds straight out. And once you got it in position, it's going to stay there. Now the microphone technique, back to that, is accomplished with this little tool. It's called Micro. And this is M2. There's two versions, a long one and a short one. And that also goes straight in. Now, most of Francesco's mics also are mounted on these because when you try to put a large diaphragm mic, let's say it's a TLM170, and you want to side address it, you can't undo the shock mount and move it. You have to move the stand. This allows you to have free motion spinning in every direction. In fact, I can dynamically move this whole product together from the microphone <coughs> and find my position. I know that my snare sounds best right across there. You go in, you listen to it, and you go, no, I want it there. That much makes a difference. Francesco will go into that in more detail because that's his profession. This is now mine. Um, but this is the key, and these are the things that I was missing as an engineer working for a very concerned recording engineer that wanted everything perfect. Now, as you can see on some of these, we have dual mic stands, dual booms. This is called O2X. The O2X gives you two 360-degree rotating ball joints. There's 90 degree crenel, like in castles, crenels, and there's one mark that goes 150, so you can actually physically cross them. He also has a swivel that allows you to go this way as well. Now, back to that micro. Anyone know what a bloom line microphone technique is? That was bitch. That was hard to do. You had to get two stands lined up, the mic clips lined up. Everything lined up with this, I can get these two micros to have my two mics at 90 degree out, out of phase from each other, and it's that fast. And 
I can, I can move it over. That was, oh, go move that mic, the, it's in the wrong spot. Okay, now I gotta set up two stands, get that thing all, and, and when they're not in phase, right. it sucks. Yep. And so this allows for that kind of activity. Drum kits, obviously, pianos, uh, big bands. We did a lot of jazz. If I had one stand between every horn section, that would have been incredible. And also, oftentimes sax players play flute. I don't want the same mic on that guy. So, you know, I have this down here for sax and this up here for flute. Um, upright basses. This is a fantastic piece for uprights because I want the bridge, but I also want the string slab on that. And so when you have a dual boom that's right there and the bass player can just walk away, not dance around the stands, it's, it's just really, it's life changing. So that's the fundamental of the stands. But we also know that some of you probably own a stand or two. Maybe they're good. This is called IORA. This is the gateway drug. Because once you start clicking your mics in, you won't want to go back ever. This turns your thread into a triad orbit IO device meaning your mic stand can now be a light stand, camera stand, anything you want, because you can use any of the heads. So this piece, uh, I think, is 21 bucks in the stores. We sell them in six packs. I believe you get one free when you buy the six pack. I would, I would ask that you guys start looking around and say, I've got 15 mics, convert. And once you convert, you're going to move closely. That's why I call it a gateway drug. You're going to say, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. <laughs> and pretty soon we're going to empty your pocket. That's, I mean, even down to the GoPro. We have GoPro heads, every, everything you could possibly want to do 